Hey, hey, it's your girl Nanny DMC. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. From the title below, you guys can probably tell that today I will be doing a video featuring Nasty Gal. Now, Nasty Gal is a brand that I've never tried before, and you guys know I love bringing new brands to my channel because I love being able to give you guys more options and show you different brands that carry different styles and different clothing for all different body types. So Nasty Gal has sponsored this video, which makes me very happy because I'm able to try a bunch of different styles of clothing that they have and give you guys the full rundown on how they fit, the sizing options, the material, and all that good stuff. So today, not only will I be showcasing the clothing that Nasty Gal offers for curvy and plus size girls like myself, but also the bread and butter of this video, the most exciting part of this video, is that Nasty Gal is launching a plus size swimwear line in collaboration with Tara Lynn. So if you guys don't know who Tara Lynn is, you are asleep, but Tara Lynn is a big face in the plus size industry. She is a plus size model and I would uh, say that she's very admired in our community and has done a lot for our community. Um, just being a face of body positivity and um, being fearless in a lot of her shoots. She recently did Sports Illustrated. Um, she had a picture that they posted that went pretty viral and a lot of people were posting horrible comments underneath it and it was just ridiculous to see. Um, but I have so much respect for her and to find out that she is the face of this line in partnership with Nasty Gal made me very excited and eager to try it out and see what it was all about. So if you're watching this video on the first day that it is live, May 15th, today is the drop of the plus size swimwear collection between Nasty Gal collaborating with Tara Lynn. So make sure you guys check it out. I'll put the link below to all my outfits that I'm trying on, but I also was gifted one of the swimsuits from the Tara Lynn Nasty Gal collection. So I will be trying that on and giving you a review on that. But I will also be linking the swimwear link below so you guys can go check that out and get some new swimsuits. So before I jump into this video, I just want to say that Nasty Gal definitely is different than my normal style, which makes me really excited to not only showcase for you guys um, different styles on my channel, but also knowing that other people's needs can be met with fashion. Something I talk about often for curvy and plus women is it's always been so hard for us to find our personal style. Like I just started finding my personal style when I was like 22 years old because I always had to shop in, you know, Target Maternity or Torrid or Lane Bryan, wear floral patterns and it was never me. So being able to try different styles and find like, hmm, would I wear this one day? Is this me? Is this something that I want to add to my closet and showcase a different style for a different event or a different lunch or dinner or something like that? Makes me really excited because this is still a new time in the plus and curvy industry where brands are finally giving us clothing and different options, different styles. So I love to be a part of that and show you ways that you can go outside your comfort zone and try different styles or spruce up your everyday style. So if you are as eager as me to see what Nasty Gal has to offer in the clothing department and also see their new collab with Tara Lynn for plus size swimwear, keep watching this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Okay, so up first, I am so excited to reveal to you guys one of the new pieces from the Nasty Gal Tara Lynn Plus Size Swimwear Collection that has dropped today. Make sure you guys go check it out. I'm so excited to get into this bathing suit. Let's talk about it. Okay, so before I go any further, I just quickly want to say this is a UK-based brand. So their sizes are in UK sizes. You can change it on the website up at the top right corner to be US sizes. But I'm going to say both the UK and US size. US sizes are two sizes smaller than UK sizes. So for example, this is a US 16 and it's a UK 20. So I was debating for a while, should I get 14, should I get 16? I was going back and forth on all the clothing with that, but especially swimwear because I like my swimwear to fit tight and support it and make me feel held in. But I was like, let me go with the 16 because I don't want it to be too tight. I can work with too loose, I don't want it to be too tight. And let me just tell you, this bathing suit fits me so good. Like, it is a perfect fit, so I'm so glad I went with the US 16. Everything about this bathing suit, honestly, was just done right. First off, it feels so luxurious. It feels like a very expensive swimsuit. And the swimwear line, all the pieces range between $20 and $50. So I'm shocked and amazed by that and very, very happy just right off the bat. Um, I feel like... The cut of this bathing suit is amazing. It makes me feel held in, but it's a high V, which gives my body some form. It also has a low V up top, which is really nice for any boob type. And there's a lot of coverage, as you can see here. So depending on what size boobs you have, it's gonna cover you. And to still give you that held in cleavage, this is a very tight top but not tight suffocating, tight like the right type of tight. Like I know you guys see I have this little cleavage 
and I have very, very small boobs. If you are a loyal subscriber, you already know that because I talk about it all the time. But to give me a little oomph and oomph, I'm so here for it. That's what I'm looking for in a bathing suit. So it holds me in my stomach, it makes me feel lifted in my butt, and it gives my chest some action, which I need and I'm so here for. I also love the color and texture of this bathing suit. I feel like the color looks really nice on my pale skin and brings my eyes out and it just does a lot for me. And then I also love the texture. There's like ridges in it, so it gives it some depth and dimension, which I really like. I also love the detailing of the cross back. I feel like it looks really nice and gives it some pizzazz as well. This is like a cheeky bottom, but it's more full too. Like you can pull it out and it gives you a lot of good coverage and gives you that lifting effect. And then let me talk about this clip baby, because you guys know, if you know me, I'm obsessed with this clip. I feel like this gives it like some of my flair, my pizzazz, my streetwear, like urban type feel. And not only is it super cute, but it's very, very convenient. So one of my biggest issues, and I feel like a lot of curvy girl issues in a one piece bathing suit is you get this like gap, not gapping, it's like the opposite of gapping in the back. And I'm gonna show you. So it sticks out here, right? There's a lot of room and fabric and it's like not conforming completely to my body. And I don't know if this was Nasty Gal's intention of making this clip, but what this clip does is it literally diminishes that right away. So when you clip this, now it is holding that piece of fabric in and it is tight and flush to your body. How perfect is that? Like this is my dream. This is like all I could ask for in a bathing suit. And this clip, not only is it cute, but it's functional. That is what I care about. Taking my sponsorship to the side, I'm so excited and eager to see what this new collection is all about. And I definitely will be using my own money to purchase some of these bathing suits because I am so, I just am here for this. I, I wish you guys could feel this. I hope that you guys check out the link below and purchase these bathing suits because this is one of the most like luxurious feeling bathing suits I have hands down. I've tried, I've done a haul on, have bought myself. Like I love this bathing suit. I'm gonna be wearing it all summer. I'm going on vacation next week. I'm definitely bringing it with me. So make sure you guys go check them out below because they just launched today and I'm geeked and you should be geeked. So go check it out. Okay, this is my next look. This is a super cute look. I'm definitely feeling this vibe. So this is a bodysuit, it's in the color taupe, and I believe that's the only color it comes in, but don't quote me on that. Um, also, this is in a US 14, UK 18, and then this skirt is in a US 18, UK 22. So this bodysuit is amazing, it fits me so good, it's really nice material, and it is a thong clasp, which I love, because I can't do the non-thong clasp, it takes too much fabric to go over my butt. And I was already worried if this bodysuit was gonna fit me because it was a 14. This is one of the only pieces I got that was a 14, so I was a little bit nervous about that, but it fits so good. So I'm very happy. This bralette is from Target that I bought a long time ago, but you can wear really any bralette with this. It's definitely very see-through, but that's the look. That's what we're going for here. As you guys can see, I'm taking baby steps out of my comfort zone, because this is definitely my style for sure. The skirt, maybe not so much. The skirt is like a different vibe for me. And I will tell you, the skirt is very tight. Um, there's not a lot of stretch in it, so I could I could kind of tell that, so I got a US 18. But I almost feel like the US 20 would have fit me better, so I would definitely say size up one or two sizes depending on your body shape. I almost feel like the skirt would fit someone that's apple shaped better. I feel like um, there's more room up top and less room in the hip and butt area. So I really feel like if you have apple shape, this would be a good skirt for you because it's very tight in my stomach area and then very loose back here. And there's like a lot of fabric up here and it's tight in my stomach because my hips and butt are utilizing all this fabric right here. Um, so it's definitely very tight and I'm not sure if I could get away with wearing this. I think that after I'm done filming today or tomorrow, I'm gonna put this skirt on and just wear it for a while because I feel like this is really good quality denim. It's super thick. It doesn't feel like any of the other brands, honestly, that I really work with. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe it stretches a little bit and conforms to my body a little more once I like move around in it and stuff like that. So if you're interested, comment below and I'll give you guys an update and let you know what happened after I wore it for a couple hours or you know sat down in it and moved around in it and stuff like that. Okay, I'm switching it up a little and gonna give you guys some spring vibes with the next couple outfits I'm gonna try on. This being the first one. This is a US 18 because they were out of every other size. I think that would have been me like a 14 or 16. So I was like, okay, let me just get an 18. And it actually fits very well. It's a little big on the chest, but because of the belt being tied like this, I'm able to kind of constrict it and make it a little smaller. So it fits a little snugger on me. I love this dress. I think it's so cute. It's like a silk material. 
which I love so much. It's a light pink, which really complements my skin tone. Um, it's definitely very comfortable and feels silky like it does on the outside, on the inside, on your body. And I love that it comes with this belt. There's two belt loops here. The belt is not connected. You just slip it in and tie it, but make sure you do not lose the belt. You gotta wrap it around your hanger or something like that when you put it in the closet because I feel like this adds so much to the outfit, to the dress. It really gives your waist a pop. No matter what size you are or what shape you have, belts like this are always so great. If you're more of an apple shape and you have a bigger stomach, you bring it up right under your boobs and it gives you some nice accent there. If you're like me, you're hourglass shaped, you bring it down right here. It gives you some nice shape. Inverted triangle, you can also bring it around this area as well to create an illusion that there's shape right here. So this is really a great piece for any body type. It's super flowy, like free flowing and airy, which I love so much. It's just like, see how it just like hangs with the body? I love that so much. It's very, very flattering and comfortable, which are the two key things. I also forgot to mention I got two pairs of shoes from Nasty Gal, one pair I have on right now that are fire. I'm about to show you a close up. Um, but both of the shoes are bomb AF. Like they are so dope. They're both very different and I cannot wait to show you. So let me show you these heels for right now. Okay, so these shoes are everything. I love them so much. They have a clear heel, they are nude on top on the straps, and then they have this wrap around strap that is very, very long. So you could tie it all the way up your leg if you wanted to. But these are just so cute. These are US 10 um, and they are just so cute. I feel like I maybe could have got away with getting a US 9. I can never decide with shoes, but I just feel like there is a little room on the back, but also I don't know if I could have got a nine because the strap fits so well. I don't know, they fit really well, like very comfortable. My foot really doesn't feel like it's sliding forward at all, but these are just so cute and they're so me and like they go perfectly with this dress anything like this dress. They have a very thick heel, so it's super comfortable. And I'm a fan. These are very, very cute. Okay, here's my next look, and this definitely falls into the spring summer vibe. This is so not me at first glance. Like this is definitely more my sister. I could totally see my sister wearing this. This is like very much her style, and she has like darker skin, darker hair, darker eyes, so like it fits her complexion a little bit better. But I actually like this dress. <laughs> I feel like it's very different. Um, it's definitely really nice on the body. It fits perfectly for my body shape, so it's very tight up top and around the waist and then looser and free flowing at the bottom, which gives it a nice like flirty flare. I got this dress in a US 16 and a UK 20, and I definitely should have got a 14. This has a lot of stretch and it's very like free flowing, so I wish it was a little tighter. Also, I almost wish I got like a US 12 because then I really wish I could wear the arms like this, I can't right now because like the whole top's gonna fall down, but I just feel like the arms would be so cute like this. This definitely gives it more of like a Danny flair. I'm showing off my collarbone, and it's like me, and blah, and huh, and blah, but it's like about to fall down, so let me pull it back up. I really like this dress. Just definitely should have sized down, so make sure you guys are aware of that if you're into this dress and want to purchase it. The link will be below, but make sure that you probably get either your true size or maybe one size down depending on your body shape. But this is cute, and I'm here for like, a style switch up. I love the back too. I love how, like, it, that is nice when the um, shoulder part is up, how it gives you that like rectangular or almost square back. I love that. Okay, so this is my next look and I'm so excited about this. So this is like a sweater dress, but it's actually very light in material. It's like thick in the fact that it's good quality material, but it's thin in the fact that it's breathable, if that makes sense. So I got this in a US 16, a UK 20. I wasn't totally sure what size to go for, but normally sweater dresses have some stretch to them. So I was like, okay, let me get a 16 and definitely perfect idea. It fits perfect. So it's definitely true to size. And I am just a big fan of this. First off, it like matches my makeup today because I have some like orange reddish tint on my eyes. And so it really brings that out. So I'm very here for that. It's a turtleneck, which I love, especially with my haircut and my jaw structure. I really love turtlenecks. I feel like it just, you know, it just, I can't even say a word, it just it's me. <laughs> it just like really defines and shows the figure and accents of my face, which I like a lot. So I'm a big fan of turtlenecks already. But I feel like this turtleneck just did a lot for me specifically, I think because of the vibrancy of the color. Um, also, I love that the sleeves are a bit long. If you guys are a loyal subscriber, you know that's something I talk about a lot. I love sleeves that like delicately fall over your hand, and that's definitely what these do. They can be pulled up. They have um, like a tighter wrist here, so like they can form if you pull them up, which is really nice. 
I will not be holding them up because I love them down and like hanging. <laughs> Another thing I love about this dress is it's kind of adjustable. Like you can pull it down and wear it like really low if you want to, but I love that you can like cinch it up and it hugs down here. A lot of sweater dresses do not hug like right below your butt mid thigh. They don't hug enough. Like it's like a light hug, but it like drapes. This is like a tight like bodycon hug, which I love so much because it gives you just, it, it does so much more for your body. And again, no matter what shape you are, this is very, very flattering. If you have big, sturdy, thick thighs and hips and butt like me, then it is so great. If you're apple shape, it's great because now you're accenting your legs, which are most likely the smallest part of your body. Same if you're inverted triangle or any shape in between, even if you're very, very straight up and down, this is gonna give you some type of curve. So I love that because I feel like it really accents my body. I feel like this is definitely a curve hugging dress. So nasty gal, curvy girl friendly, this definitely is on the approval list for sure. And then this is another look I have shoes on with. These shoes are hands down, Probably my favorite thing from this entire haul besides the swimsuit, the swimsuit was so bomb. But these shoes, they're so different, they're so UK, like I'm just obsessed with them, so let's get into them. Oh my gosh, how obsessed are we with these shoes? <laughs> you guys, I love these. These scream UK, like streetwear vibes. I'm here for the day, I'm a boss, you can't mess with me. Like how bomb are these? I just feel like they are so cute. I just honestly cannot deal. Like these shoes are giving me all the vibes I need in my life right now. So these are a US 10 and they fit perfect. Like the 10 was the perfect, perfect move to go with. They have gold accents. Um, the clasps for the laces are gold. And then there is a white strap, like almost like a construction strap on the top of the shoe as well and then the laces are like waxy which i love so much because it makes them look more high fashion which i'm so here for the platform is black the shoe is all white and i'm just these are mine i'm here for them <laughs> like i'm gonna be wearing these so much you guys don't understand i've been looking for a shoe like this for a really long time that flatters my style and i know like a lot of designers have tried to recreate shoes like these gucci louis a lot of big brands have tried to remake them but i don't want to spend eight thousand dollars on shoes i'm just not really here for it and these are so bomb and they're very affordable and they feel like a really good quality shoe so I'm a happy girl. This is probably my favorite piece besides the swim from this entire haul. And I'm a very happy girl. Yes, yes. So not only does Nasty Gal do clothes and swimwear right, they also do shoes and accessories right. So I'm a fan. Okay, so this next look is something that is so different for me and very not my style, but also like so my style at the same time, like I'm discovering it's my style right now. So this top is in a US 16, UK 20, and the bottoms are US 18, UK 22, and they're definitely good fit. I think I should have got the top in a US 14 because it is a little bit big, and when tucking in, I had to like really tuck it in. Um, but these pants fit very well. They're like the perfect size. They have pockets. This belt is everything. I feel like it adds so much to the outfit and really is able to allow me to cinch my waist, which is really, really nice. Um, and I just love the color. I feel like if I'm on like some extra mature ish, like I'm about to go to like a fancy brunch or like a beauty industry event or like, I don't know. I'm just so here for this. I feel like it's very sophisticated and just like elevates my style. So I'm definitely adding this to my closet. Very happy about it. These pants flare out at the bottom, which also gives it like a chic, classy vibe, which I'm totally here for. And I love that it's not see-through. Like you cannot see through these. That is amazing. Thank you so much, guys, to go. I feel like whenever I try light pants like these on, you can always see through them. So that is a blessing. The top of buttons, it has three buttons, but you can't see the third one because it's right here. Um, and it's not a super long top. Like it finishes kind of short, which is nice. And I chose to tuck it in here because I just feel like it gives it like a fluid look, which I really, really like. This is definitely a winner for me. I feel like it really like elevates my style and brings me to the next level. So this is a perfect example of what happens in a positive way when you step outside your comfort zone when it comes to fashion. Okay, this is my last and final look for you guys. This top that I have on is in a UK 20, which is a US 16. And the skirt that I have on is in a UK 22, which is a US 18. So let me break this outfit down for you guys. I'm very, very obsessed with this look. I feel like it's very different for me. I feel like it's like a Brie Kish look. If you guys know Brie Kish, she is a plus size model as well. And she has, I just love her style. I look to her for some inspiration for like when I'm trying to switch up my style because her and I have like complete polar opposite styles. But her style is just so put together and cute and like, 
I just, oh, I love it. So this is what I would call a Brie Kish look. So let me start with the top. This is basically just like a basic white tee, but I love this body print. So it has like some boobs, outline of boobs, but it also has the body, which I love. I feel like there's been a lot of shirts lately that are doing things, you know, for breathing it and different things for, you know, to show women empowerment and acceptance of your body. And I love the boobs, but I just love that it like goes down into a figure. You have a little belly button. If anyone is a loyal subscriber here, you know I always talk about wanting to show off my belly button. So having a top that has like a little belly button is perfect for me. So this shirt was made for me. It's a very, very good material. It's thick, not see-through at all, which is what I'm always looking for with white shirts because white shirts can be extremely see-through. And then I got this skirt to pair it with because I just thought it was so different for me. I normally don't wear skirts. This is a mini length. Let me back up a little so you can like see the length. It's like a perfect length. It's very comfortable. I will say I definitely should have sized down on this skirt. Again, because this is a new brand for me, I wasn't sure what sizes to go with, and I didn't know if this had a lot of stretch, but this has a ton of stretch. As you can see, it has an elastic waistband, so it's very, very stretchy, and the material in itself is stretchy as well, and it has like extra room, so I definitely should have gotten this in a US 16, but this still fits very well, especially with the tucked in shirt, because now I'm giving it some extra fabric to fill up. So this is such a cute look to me. It's very, very comfortable, but super chic. Like I can go anywhere in this and just give a whole different vibe. I think that it's very flattering to my body and very nice on a curvaceous body. So this look is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm excited to wear this. I feel proud that I'm like switching up my style and bringing a different look that is so like not me. Um, but so me at the same time, like I feel like it looks really cute and that makes me very happy. So this is a good win. Okay, my beautiful babes, that is my video for you guys today. I am honestly blown away by Nasty Gal in the best way possible. Sometimes it's hard for me to go outside of my comfort zone with my own personal style because I just found my style not too long ago and was just given all these brands that have my style, but you know, super urban streetwear, metropolitan city style. So sometimes I just wanna hold on to that so tightly, like yes, I have all these options, but then I forget how invigorating and exciting and fulfilling it is to try different styles and see how they fit my body and really unleash that creative being inside me and being able to put things together. It's harder to go outside of your comfort zone and put pieces together that you wouldn't normally put together. And I love a little challenge. So Nasty Gal really surprised me. I love all of these outfits. I was really surprised by the fit. Um, the fabric, the material for still having that low price that a lot of these fast fashion brands have. I would think that Nasty Gal would be a little bit more expensive for the quality of their clothing. So I'm very excited about all of the pieces and you'll definitely be seeing them. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at it's Danny DMC. I will link it below um, to see me wear all these pieces this summer and really expand my style and try different things now that I have been exposed to another brand that has given us plus size and curvy girls more options. So I titled this video, Nasty Gal, Curvy Girl Approved, question mark. And I would definitely say this brand is Curvy Girl Approved. You need to watch out for the material that's in the items because you need to know if it's gonna stretch or not. The pieces that stretch, stretch very good, but the pieces that don't stretch do not have stretch in them, but they still conform to your body, which is a big, big plus for curvy girls. Um, but just make sure that if it does not have stretch in it, that you are sizing up, which I did for the skirt and the pants, um, the like blousey pants. You gotta make sure you do that because you have to account for it not having stretch, so it, you know, giving you that extra room in it. Also completely shocked by the new plus size swimwear. Granted, I've only tried one piece, but I was unsure about it. I, again, I'd never tried Nasty Gal before. I really didn't know what it was gonna be like, but that swimsuit felt so luxurious. It held my body in so good. It was so thick. I can tell that when I go in the water, it's gonna hold up really well and not be see-through. And I love the clip detail. I feel like that swimsuit was so me and just fit my body so well. I honestly was really, really shocked. So I'm eager and excited to see their other pieces. I'm definitely gonna be spending my own coin and buying a few today with you guys, hopefully hopefully you guys check them out and see how good they are and you see this review and understand the quality of Nasty Gal's clothing. Like I said in my intro, I will be linking everything below. So don't you worry, I will be putting all the pieces and all the sizes with links down below. So go check those out and just go check Nasty Gal out as a whole, no matter what size you are or what type of body you are, they are now officially a brand that caters to everybody. So make sure you guys definitely go check them out 
and I hope that you feel confident in wearing their clothes when you try them out because that is the key to me. You guys know I just want to spread confidence to you guys and one way I know how to do that is through fashion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy Nasty Gal if you do try them out and really push yourself outside of your comfort zone and try new pieces and Let's get ready to have a good summer this summer. I want everyone to break stereotypes. I want everyone to break the rules and just feel confident and love yourself and check in with yourself before you leave the house. Make sure that you are ready and equipped to face the world and face other people that do not have the mind you do. So people may be judging you, they may be critiquing you, and they're allowed to have their opinions, but you are in control of if you let that affect you. So let's all be loud and proud and bold and unapologetic and so beyond confident this summer. I love you guys so much. See you next time.